The second speaker will be um, YB William Young, who is the member of Parliament of Hawaii and also the Secretary General of Africa and Asia. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Peace, praise, the Lord be with you. Tajiaha, Barakat. Thank you very much for joining us tonight in this wonderful PJ Civic Centre. I'm sure my fellow distinguished Panelists are as uncomfortable as I am because we are used to be speaking on top of lorries, under the trees, out in the open. But because of you, we have to change. And the change and the momentum must carry on until we also become uncomfortable in Putrajaya. In these last 150 days, we have seen a slick choreographed public relations campaign that the best money can buy. And Najib did that with a 45% approval rating. It was one of the lowest that the Prime Minister has in coming into power. And so we have only good news. No mention of Abu Razak Baginda, the name of the Mongolian national was obliterated. We cannot mention it in the by elections, in Bukit Salamba, in Bukit Ganta, in Bananti. Those who did charge. And then only bad news of Pakatan Rai. We are breaking up, we are in trouble. The media is managed. A public relations campaign. That means the truth was managed. The truth was massaged. And the approval rating hit 65%. But Michael Levy said that you can ban it, you can twist it, you can abuse it, you can misuse it. But even God cannot change the truth. We have the sad and tragic episode of Teo Ming Wan. They can try to ban it, to say that he committed suicide, he jumped. They can twist it to say that the interrogation finished at 345 and he liked it so much he stayed back in the pantry to sleep. You can abuse it to say now that these Langor Expo members are fiddling with the mind. But the truth, the truth is like an air balloon. You can try and keep and suppress it in a pool of water, but it will bounce up sooner or later, when you least expect it. And the truth is Teo Bing Hock line did 14 falls from the MACC. We cannot change the fact. It is tragic, it is sad, it is unforgivable. But 
all the master dreaming of the truth came to an end. The Najib reality show came to an end. Malaysians woke up and we need to ask for the truth. And we see what one Malaysia and the announcements of the liberalization policies, the goodies in its true perspective. One Malaysia, according to Naji, is to have all the races coming together. Is this rhetoric? Of course. Of course. At the same time, they are asking Hari, Nasruddin, Pass, come and join UMNO in our struggle for the Kuanan Malayu for Islam. Is that one Malaysia? <coughs> there you see the true Najib, the true one Malaysia. Speaking to the Bumi Putras, the Tuanan, Malayu. To the dawn of the Mishras, one Malaysia. And it takes a little Teo Bing Hock to open our eyes to what one Malaysia is. Liberalization, as Neil Armstrong said, when he reached the moon, one small step for men, one giant leap for mankind. The deregulation of the FIC, the abolishing of the 30% is one small step for Najib, and it's actually a smaller step for us Malaysians. It is because of the NAP, because of the Katwan Amalai, that we have an economy that was already sick and suffering long before the global financial market. This is what the people wanted to change. We do not want rhetoric. We ask whether Najib has the political will and is willing to take the political risk to make real changes. But there is none. Because on the day that he gave the speech relating to the deregulation of the FIC, the liberalization of the services sector, there was one line that none of the papers highlighted. And that was the 30% Bumiputra requirement remains a macro objective. It is still there. It only meant that it's not applied to the 27 services subsectors. It only does not apply to the foreigners buying foreign property. But as of a macro object, it's still there. Someone will still have to give away their 30% equity. And to confirm, the next day, the Malay man said, Najib still has the Malay interest at heart. That is one Malaysia again. Telling the Bumi Putras something, telling the non Bumi Putras something else. It is only when we Malaysians are equal and we can say in the kampong, in the new village, in the towns that we have to work together. We are equal. But we shall have affirmative program for the needy. Then 
بها في وقت من الزمن. 